Hi there. I use Adobe Animate and uh, I have spent about three hours of my day today because uh, I need the product to, um, well it really doesn't matter why, and every time I open it, it freezes. And not only does it freeze, if left unchecked, it, uh, it causes the entire computer to freeze. I've been down the support, made three or four calls to Adobe support, got transferred to multiple, multiple departments, finally got one guy who, uh, I actually had one person ask me how to spell animate, truth. Uh, finally got somebody on the line who uh, was very methodical. The thing they led me to was try a totally new user account and try to open animate that way. And I did that, and it failed. Very same symptom, no problem, just didn't work. I had cleared my fonts folder at some point, uh, s uh, reset it back to factory, because the last thing I saw when Adobe opened was initializing fonts. Didn't matter, still failed. Completely purged my system of everything Adobe. Creative Cloud, every single Adobe program that I own, and all of their preferences. Okay, so that's a bit of a setback for me, because I've got a lot of preferences. I've just killed it all. Uh, app data, removed it. Program files, programs common, removed it. Uh, used Revo uninstall to make sure every registry entry with Adobe's name on it was gone. Rebooted the machine. Same problem. This is what happens, and, uh, and this is how I've worked around it. So this is back to the original user. I'm going to open up Adobe Animate, but before I do, and you need to do the same thing, you need to do Control Alt Delete and open up the Task Manager. I'm going to pull that to the side, minimize myself, and run Adobe Animate. This is a 2023 version. I tried also in this whole process going back to the 2022, same problem. You can see initializing fonts show up here. That's what led me in that direction. It was the last thing you saw on the screen. I've looked at the log files, nothing really jumped out there. Now, so it says it's opening. I'm going to bring this task manager to the forefront. Switch over to the processes side. Oh, actually, I take that back. Switch over to the details side. Now, well, actually, I take that back. I guess it was processes. I better figure it out quick. Here we are, processes. Then hit that arrow. Now watch my memory. It's right now it's at 32%. It was like 12% when we started this off. And it's going to climb and climb and climb. Now I didn't notice this until I was logged in as the other user just by happenstance. You see that memory? I've got 128 gigs of memory. It's going to eat it all up. But what I noticed when I opened that arrow was these Adobe CEP HTML engines. There's a lot of them. So I'm going to take one of them highlight it and end task. So there's some kind of a loop going on that's causing it to re rerun the same program over and over again. So each time I see it, I'm going to highlight one and stamp, stamp it out. Now look right there. That last one I stamped out caused the program to open. Uh, Adobe Animate shows up. I'm not sure why it shows up within itself that way. That may be a program issue. Um, and at this point, I've been able to create a new, no problem, open files, import stuff to stage, everything works like it's supposed to. Now the last time uh, when I closed Animate, it did not close completely. This time it did, so it works. So that's the hack, that's the workaround, is to watch it in apps, kill it there. All the other things, and I've tried so many, um, it, it doesn't get past it. So. So anyway, that's all there is to it. Um, I hope this helps you. I hope this saves you the three or four hours or whatever it's been in my day uh, trying to nail it. In the end, it's worth it. I did need it to create some of the stuff uh, that is unique to Adobe Animate. Uh, there are files that have already been created. I'm not going to start that process over in some other program. So um, just stamp them out until they go away. I don't know of any other way to resolve this. I, I think I've tried everything possible. Uh, that Adobe might have suggested. I think it's a programmatic error of some kind. Um, and maybe it's got something to do with some other program that I'm running in the background that's interacting with Adobe in this way. But I'll let the world decide based on the comments I get on this video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.